It would have been very easy for us in these challenging times to just say, all right, we'll take a pause for a year and come back next year, but that's not what people in the arts do. This year, our approach, uh, because of the current pandemic, was to have a handful of drive-in screenings um, in towns around the North Shore. So we started with a hard day's night, um, which was great, and everybody was really enthusiastic. That was the one that signed up the fastest, and um, it was a great night. It was a beautiful night. It was a little bit windy, you know, and we had the blow-up screen, but it was great. You know, everybody turned up, and it, the first one was at Sid Jacobson JCC, and we worked in partnership with them, and they were a great staff, and they knew how to run everything. And then Clueless was at Bar Beach in Port Washington, and that was a really fun evening. And that had more kids, I think, you know, like the parents came with their kids. And even though it's a huge generational gap because it's 25 years of Clueless, the kids were great. The parents came, the kids had dinner in the car. They loved their little swag bags. People were extremely excited to have drive-ins to go to. Uh, it's something fun. If you haven't been to one, I would definitely <laughs> urge you to seek them out. Just seeing the cars pull in and how organized everything was, you know, just watching this, the staff, you know, of the partners that we had, whether it was Town of North Hempstead or over at JCC, how professional they were and how they were able to just organize everybody. The best part was like, all of a sudden it's quiet, you know, and it's super peaceful and you have this amazing movie being shown and everybody was really excited. So I think it was like this sense of real community and everybody coming together and, um, you know, making the most of a fun drive at night. With regards to the virtual film festival, we were really pleasantly surprised that people were clamoring to watch the films that we curated. With so many options out there with Amazon and Netflix and Hulu, you don't know what people's appetite's gonna be for more online content, but over the years, people have come to trust us for the types of films that we curate um, and the filmmaker Q&As that we pair with our films, and so we saw thousands of films streamed. I think that you know our films were so diverse, a lot of premieres, great documentaries, whether it was in case of emergency, you know, about first the first responders in emergency rooms and nurses and doctors, that was great. Our audience is looking for more because even afterwards people would get, you know, contact us and say, that was great, you know, when can we watch more films or, you know, what do you have going on in the future? So that's definitely something we would continue. My favorite part of the virtual film festival was learning that people were at home watching 10, 15 films in a week because they wanted to really uh, replicate the festival experience in their home. First of all, we're extremely proud that we reached this 25th anniversary milestone and we put together this really great a virtual gala that had celebrities performing and past and current students and teachers wishing us well. So I think the virtual gala was amazing. It was like a great walk down memory lane. So this year was different. Everyone was home. They could be in their tuxedo or they could be in their pajamas and they could log on. Uh, we all watched it together. It launched um, on a Tuesday night at 7.30 at night and we had people from all over the world logging in, hundreds and hundreds of people that night logging in to all share this experience and then the great thing was is that we were able to leave the gala up there for people to watch who couldn't attend. Like we sent it out to filmmakers who were here in the past so they were all really excited and they were thrilled to celebrate with us. Good evening my name is Melissa Errico and I'm very honored to be here tonight and very honored to have been your artist of distinction. We Do wish we could have all been in person celebrating together but if you can't have that option it was a really great uh, way to celebrate 25 years. We just, you know, we cannot be here without our sponsors. I'm Joel Gray and I'm delighted to join you tonight. And they've been so generous and, you know, and just their continuous support. It's, it's such a testament that, the, you know, what we do is important and that the arts are important. And so the fact that we are able to provide such a wide array of arts programming for such a diverse population 
is something that I think is a particularly special about Gold Coast Arts um, and all that we offer.